Savannah, Texas, that's where we can be found. We're at the Southwestern Bell Cotton Bowl. And there's a little chill in the air for today's game between the Auburn Tigers and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And here come the Cornhuskers. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet in the EA Sports booth. We've got some great college football for you to kick off the new year. The Cornhuskers come into this game expecting a win. I tend to agree with that. How about you, Herbie? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think you're exactly right about this. Nebraska has one of the better running attacks in college football and a very good running back. Lee, this will be a great opportunity here for fans to get a chance to see him run the football and lead his team to a victory. Not so fast, my friend. Nebraska might have a problem stopping the short passing game in this one. Now, if they don't find a way to put the pressure on that quarterback, watch out, sweetheart. We're talking about a big upset here, Kirk. Thanks, guys. Let's head down to the field. The two teams are lined up for the coin toss. Auburn is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. We should have a return on this one. Number 30 takes it at the four. He jukes him, throws a stiff arm. Get the ball here at the 36. Nebraska comes out with two tight ends. Number 30 gets the ball left side with a stiff arm. Number 82 with a takedown at the 46 yard line. They get about 10 yards on that play. It's second and inches. Ball on their own 46. Number 30 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Little handoff. And he's tackled at the 48. And the tailback picks up the first down. First and 10. Ball right around midfield. Number 30, alone in the backfield. Little handoff. Number 54 brings him down at the 49-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 49. Number 30 lines up as a single back. Drops back to pass. Looking. Fires a bullet over the middle. Tipped away. And the safety got a hand on it that time. They're down in seven. Ball right around midfield. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. And he's stopped behind the line. Well, the defense really put the clamps down on that run. Boy, Brad, great effort up front by that defense. Fourth and nine coming up here. Ball right around midfield. The Cornhuskers are lining up to punt it away. Number 19 signals for a fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback.
They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. The Tiger come out in the shotgun. The number 16 on the option left side. He laterals the ball. Offense falls on it. Looks like the offense recovered the loose ball. There's a lot of risk-reward when you run the option. Sometimes you hit it big, and sometimes you fall flat on your face. Well, Coach, that was one of those times where they fell flat on their face. Luckily, they'll get another shot at it because they've maintained possession. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 18-yard line. Nebraska comes out at a 4-3. Number 16 pitches out to the right. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And they stop the halfback for a loss. And let me tell you something. That toss play had no chance whatsoever. Defense was all over it. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on their own 17. The Cornhuskers line up in a nickelback. Number 16 drops to throw. He guns it to the right. Number 80 hangs on to it. Nice pass, but not enough for the first down, and I that's going to bring I up know, four. I know, yeah, but nice pass and catch. But when you don't convert the first down, it's not as nice as you'd like. Fourth and inches coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number five calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 31. They'll take over at the 31-yard line. Auburn lines up defensively in a 3-4. up number 36 with a takedown at the 47 a monster run there by the fullback <laughs> you're right Brad that was a scary run for this defense coach scary or not you gotta wrap the big guy up you can't allow the fullback to run wild like that on your defense first and ten ball on the 47 Auburn lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 10 gives it up the middle. Breaks one. Number 36 brings him down at the 47-yard line. The fullback bangs it in there for a gain of six. Second and four. Ball on the 47. They're lining up in the 5-2. Number 10. Options out. And he's going to lose yards on this one. That fullback had no luck there. No, nah, he needed more than luck there. That defense was tenacious. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Cornhuskers line up in an I formation. The option left. Number 36 with a takedown at the 40-yard line. And the option play works for good yarding. Yeah, and that was an area that coming into this game, they wanted to improve on. Converting on third downs. Yeah, converting on third downs and not turning the ball over. First and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Auburn comes out in a 4-3. the middle and he's taken down at the 33 yard line and the fullback plus through for about seven yards the second down and three to go ball on the 33 the corn huskers go with the eye formation Number 10 gives it up the middle. He's hit and got away. Number 94 brings him down at the 28-yard line. Picked up the first down on that carry. Yeah, good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. Right. 
First and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Defense lines up. Eight men in the box. And they got him for a loss. This is a great example of how to defend the run. Here the fullback has nowhere, and I mean nowhere, to run. Yeah, nice job by these guys. They can be very sound defensively. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. The Cornhuskers with a stack backfield. He stiff arm. Number 82 with a takedown at the 28-yard line. He picks up a yard on the play. Third down and 10 coming up. This is the ninth play of this drive. Number 30 alone in the backfield. He drops back. Let's it fly. And that one's fallen incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. It's fourth down and 10 yards to go. They're in field goal range. Number 26 comes in to kick the field goal, and he's going to have to get a leg into this one. The kick is up, and he got it. And that was not an easy kick, guys. Forget about it. This kid can make it from 60 yards or further. Nebraska lines up for the kickoff. Number 36 and number 19 back deep to return. He boots it deep downfield. Number 19 fields it in the end zone. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. 4-3 defense. Number 16, back to throw. He's looking. Incomplete pass. Second and 10, ball on the 20. Nebraska lines up defensively in a 4-3. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Great job by the defensive lineman here to get a paw on him and put him to the turf. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Auburn lines up in a shotgun set. Number 16 drops back to pass. Let's it go. And he can't hang on to it. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Fourth down and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. They send out the punting unit. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number five signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 34. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score. Nebraska, three. Auburn, nothing. We are ready to start quarter number two. They'll get the ball here at the 34. Nebraska lines up in a double tight set. On the ground, right side. Number 56 brings him down at the 34. 
Nothing gained on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 34. Number 30 lines up as a single back. Back to pass. He pump fakes. Looks. He lets it go. Number 89. Has it. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Auburn lines up with five defensive backs. Number 30 on the handoff. Number 82 with a takedown at the 48. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. Second down and five. Ball right around midfield. Two tight ends here. They hand it off. He's at the 40. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? A thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Nebraska lines up in the Maryland eye. Under pressure, guns it across the middle. Number 14 brings him down at the 18-yard line. Not a bad pickup that time. Yeah, let me tell you the reason why this play worked. The defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback, and he made them pay right there. It's first and 10. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Nebraska going with three backs here. Hand off up the middle. And down he goes at the 17-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Second and nine. This is the seventh play of this drive. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. Hand off up the middle. Number five with a takedown at the 15-yard line. Couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. Third down and seven. Ball on the 15-yard line. Nebraska lines up in the Maryland eye. Cut. 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 Number 10 on the option, makes it. And he's taken down at the nine. And he's going to be short of the first down there, guys. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. Play action might work here. Number 10 gives it up the middle. They'll bring him down at the eight. And the call paid off. Good call to keep it on the ground. You only need a little bit. Go ahead, get the safe first down. I like to call in good execution. <laughs> it's always a good call if it works. In this case, they got enough for the first. So it's a good call. Nebraska comes out with an eye formation. Number four gets the carry. Touchdown, Cornhusker. That was a great carry by the fullback. Rarely do you see a fullback run the football like that. I know, usually fullbacks run straight up and down the field. This guy's more agile than I thought he was. He's a player.
And he tacks on the extra point. And with four minutes to go in the second quarter, our score, Nebraska 10, Auburn nothing. Nebraska is ready to kick it away. Kicks it off. Number 19 takes it at the four. They'll go to work at the 30. The Cornhuskers put four men up front. Number 16 drops back. He's looking for his man. And it's incomplete. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Cornhuskers line up with six defensive backs. Brought down at the 32-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on their own 32. The Cornhuskers bring in the nickel package. Drop back to pass. He's in trouble. He throws it. Incomplete. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. Fourth down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number five fields it at the 27. Missed tackle. Picked up some good solid yardage on that return. Yo, that's not good for the old net punting average either. They'll take over at the 45. The Tigers come out in a 34 defense. Handoff up the middle. Tackle at the 49. A pickup of four on the play. Second and six. Ball right around midfield. The Cornhuskers go with the eye formation. Number 10 gives it up the middle, shakes off a tackle. And down he goes at the 39. He appears to have been injured on the play. First and 10, ball on the 39-yard line. The Tigers use a four-man front here. handoff. Number 82 brings him down for a loss and he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what? That was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 40. The Tigers line up in a 3-4. On the ground, up the middle. Number 56 brings him down at the 37. The back gets three on the carry. It's third down and eight to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Tigers line up in a nickel back. Number 10, back to pass, and it's knocked away. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Go. 
Fourth down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. High formation here. Number 10 drops the throw. Rifles it over the middle. Complete. Number 14 with a takedown at the 15-yard line. The Cornhuskers are going to take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. First and 10. They're threatening inside the 20. They come out in a nickel. He drops back. Looking. Throws it out there. And it falls incomplete. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it seems like he's allowing the defense right now to control him by throwing bad passes under pressure. What he needs to do is make some plays and start controlling the defense instead. It's second down and 10 to go. Eight play of this drive coming up. Nebraska going with three backs here. Cut. 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 Here comes the pressure. He passes it. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. And a nice connection for the score, Coach. Yep, yep, yep. The defense can forget about it. I gotta see that touchdown again. Yeah, Brad, this is really a good looking throw by the quarterback and a nice catch, too. And you're definitely on the same page there. the PAT. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Nebraska 17, Auburn nothing. Nebraska to kick this one off. Kicks it deep. Number 19 feels it in the end zone. They'll start this drive at the 20. The Tiger set up in the gun. Option to the right. And now he pitches it. Number 31 brings him down at the 24-yard line. The option to the tailback good for about four yards. Back to throw. Number 57 with a takedown at the 28-yard line. And they'll go with a no huddle. to the right and it's caught he's to the 50 and they finally knock him out at the 39 yard line and that'll do it for the first half of play our halftime score Nebraska 17 Auburn nothing Nebraska got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Here's the kick. Number 36 fields it in the end zone. Spin move. They'll get the ball here at the 18-yard line. Oh, 
The Tiger. Line up with three wide. Drop back to pass. He's looking. He unloads it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Second and ten. Ball on the 18. The Tiger come out showing three wide. He drops back. He pumps once. There's a stiff arm. Number 38 brings him down at the 22-yard line. They got four yards on that one. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 22. Nebraska comes out in a 3-4. Little shake and bake move. Number 17 with a takedown at the 28-yard line. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. It is fourth down and inches. Ball on their own 28. Auburn ready to put this one away. Number five fields at the 29. Beautiful, beautiful coverage. Very well covered all around. Go to work at the 29. Auburn lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 10 drops back to pass. And he's going to come up with a sack. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number 30 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Back to pass. Looks. Batted away. And the safety got a hand on it that time. I've got to see that one again. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on their own 23. Auburn comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Drop back to pass. Fires across the middle. Complete. And he's finally brought down at the 49. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Number 30 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Set. Cut. Cut. He drops back. Let's it fly. And it's picked off. And they badly needed that interception. It's sure going to help. If they can march down the field and score, watch out. We might have a game here. Let's look at that interception again. Hey, this is a sensational defensive play. Watch this kid just working back there in the secondary, and then he leaps for the ball. Nice pick. First and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. They use four linebackers. Number 57 brings him down for a loss. That's a two-yard loss. Second down and 12. Ball on the 32-yard line. Number 16 with three wide receivers. Number 
16. Gives it up the middle. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. A 10-yard gain. Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 42. Nebraska lines up defensively in a 3-4. Tackle at the 49. When you break one like that, you've got to give credit to the offensive line. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Number 16 comes to the line with three wide. Number 24 gets a toss. Number 31 brings him down at the 46. They get three yards on the play. Second and seven. Ball on the 46. Defense lines up. Eight men in the box. The counter. He's at the 40. Number 17 with a takedown at the 35-yard line. Nice gain for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front. The tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. First and 10. Seventh play of this drive coming up. The Tigers go with the I formation. Drop back to pass. Let's it go. Flag down, and it's caught. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. You've got an inverted in race mask, mask on the defense. On the defense. Five yard penalty, second down. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 30. Auburn lines up for the shotgun set. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Five coming up, all on the 30 yard line. Defense lines up in a 4 3. He drops back under heavy pressure. He lets it go, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. You just can't say enough about this guy's play all season long. What a steady performer he's been all year. That last catch puts him over a thousand yards for the year, and a well deserved congratulations. And he tacks on the extra point. And just over two minutes left here in the third. The score is Auburn, seven, Nebraska, 17. Auburn ready to kick this one off. He boots it deep downfield. Number five, fields it in the end zone. They'll take over at the 22. The Tigers line up in a 3-4. He jukes. Number 36 brings him down at the 29-yard line. About seven yards on that carry. Oh, 
The second down and three to go. Ball on the 29. Nebraska sets up in the eye. Number 10. Options out. He's looking for his man. Incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's third down and three to go. Ball on their own 29. Number 30 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Number four, the ball carrier. Number 54 with a takedown at the 31-yard line. And that's three and out. And if you're the defensive coordinator, you deserve a pat on the back. Fourth and one coming up. Ball on their own 31. They come out in a punt formation. Number 19 fields it at the 30. Sheds that one. Spins upfield. He made some nice moves on that return. Yeah, but too many, Brad. Boy, he'd love to have another chance at that one. The field is wide open for a score. They'll start this drive at the 49-yard line. Nebraska brings in the nickel here. Number 24 on the delay. Number 5 brings him down at the 44. A 7-yard run by the running back. Second and three, ball on the 44. The Cornhuskers use a four-man front here. Back to pass. He's under pressure. He throws it. Number 80 with a catch. Not a bad play there. Not at all. If this wideout can continue to make plays like this, allowing them to spread the ball around, this offense is going to be tough to stop. It's first and 10, ball on the 27. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. Number 24 gets the carry. He tries to spin. Number 55 with a takedown at the 25. The running back gets two on the carry. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Nebraska, 17, Auburn, 7. They've switched sides, and these teams are all set to start the fourth and final quarter. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 25-yard line. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on the 30. The Tigers go with the eye formation. Hand off up the middle. Number 38 brings him down at the 28-yard line. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. Third and 11. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 16 lines up in the shotgun. Number 16 drops back, throws it out there. Number 80 makes a catch. Solid gain, guys, but short of the first down. Yeah, that was a nice gain. Although it didn't get him the first down, it gives him a little bit more confidence in moving the football against this defense later on in the game. Fourth and one, ball on the 18-yard line. 
Number 24 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. On the ground, up the middle. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The fullback bangs it in there for a gain of six. First and ten, ball on the 12-yard line. Four-man front by the defense. Drops back to pass. He passes it, and that one's fallen incomplete. The defense was able to supply some pressure here and break up the scheme, forcing the incompletion. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 12-yard line. The Tiger come out in a shotgun. They'll run the option. He takes a pitch. Number 43 brings him down for a loss. And the linebacker was able to wrap him up in the backfield. Third down and 11 to go. Ninth play of this drive coming up. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Number 31 knocks it away. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. It's fourth down and 11 yards to go. Ball on the 13. They'll line it up for the field goal. It's up. And it splits the upright. Auburn lines up for the kickoff. Number five and number 30 back to return. Sends it sailing downfield. Number five fields it in the end zone. They'll get the ball here at the 20 yard line. Number 30 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. The counter. Number 36 with a takedown at the 28. They grab eight yards there. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Tigers line up in a 4-3. Number 10 on play action. Sheds the tackler. He unloads it. Number 36 bats it down. The clock will stop with that incompletion. Boy, I don't understand that strategy at all. With the lead late in the game, you just need to run the football. That's not a smart decision. It's third down and two to go. Ball on their own 28. Nebraska lines up in the Maryland eye. Number 10 gives it up the middle. Brought down at the 31-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Auburn lines up with five defensive backs. Number 30 on the give. And they make the stop at the 37. Six yards on the carry. Second and four. 
fifth play of this drive coming up. Nebraska sets up in the eye. Back to pass. Looking. He goes downtown. Complete. Number 10 brings him down at the 36-yard line. The defense came with a blitz that time. Yeah, but when you blitz a quarterback that is smart as this guy, you got to blitz him late, and you got to change your defense late. Right, Kirk? That's exactly right. Let's see if they begin to pick up what we're seeing here. Just a little bit of a cat and mouse game out there. Three-man front defensively. Hand off up the middle. Number 56 with a takedown at the 33. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second and seven. Seventh play of this drive coming up. The Tigers come out in a 34 defense. Drops back to pass. He's going long, and it's caught. Recovered by the defense. This guy sure came up with a huge play right there, didn't he, Coach? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And that fumble recovery changes the whole complexion of this football game. It's first and ten. Ball on their own six. Nebraska comes out in a 3-4. They'll run the option. Takes a pitch. And he stopped behind the line. He didn't get much on that play at all. Brad, the defense had that play read and sealed it off from the get-go. Number 16, back to pass. Number 43 brings him down at the five. He scrambled and picked up a couple of yards. They like to run this fast-paced kind of offense. Yeah, and sometimes you get the defense to panic and waste a timeout. Number 98 with a takedown at the seven-yard line. Offsides. Offsides. Home defense. Home defense. Guys on the field. Still third down. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 10. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. Under pressure. Complete. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. A nice pass play there. Let me tell you, the reason why this play worked was the fact that the defense didn't do a good job of knocking the wide receiver off his route. You got to jam him at the line and throw their timing off. Number 16 steps back to pass, lets it fly. It falls incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 22. The Cornhuskers line up in a 3-4. Number 98 brings him down at the 26-yard line. The fullback gains about four yards there. He drops back. Let's it go. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Fourth down at six. Ball on their own 26. Auburn ready to put this one away. Number five takes it at the 33. Good move. A good return. It's first and 10, ball on the 44. The Cornhuskers line up in an eye formation. Back to pass. He lets it go, and it's caught. Number 36 with a takedown at the 47. 
Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 47. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Hand off up the middle. Number 56 brings him down at the 47. The defense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. They're down in seven. Ball on the 47. Two tight ends set. They'll run the option. A little juke. And down he goes at the 48. The Tigers call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. Fourth and two. Ball right around midfield. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 19 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 13. They'll go to work at the 13. Four three defense. Drops back to pass. Throws a lob pass out to the right. Number 85 hangs on to it. And they'll lose a yard there. And they hurry up to the line. You're right. Sometimes you can catch the defense napping a little bit. Number 16 drops the throw. He lobs it right side. Number 85 has it. Loss of about two. He drops back. He's looking for his man. Complete to the 40. And he's finally taken down at the 45. It's another 100-yard receiving performance out there by one solid player. So what else is doing? This guy's capable of doing this game in and game out. He's that good. Number 16, back to throw. He faked the spike. He's going to try and throw it. And it's caught. Number 5 with a takedown at the 32-yard line. And here's another look at that pass, Kirk. Boy, Brad, what a great throw by the quarterback. I mean, this guy doesn't mess around. He sees his target wide open, gets him the ball quickly. Look at the velocity on that throw. Back to pass. The spike will stop the clock. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 32. 4 3 defense. Number 16 drops back to pass. He throws it. Incomplete pass. Kirk, just let that one get away from him. Yeah, and you can see he wants that one back. That's a throw this guy can make in his sleep. Ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Cornhuskers bring in their dime package, throws it out there. It falls incomplete. Couldn't find his man in the end zone there. You know, as a quarterback, I can tell you that the defense is always tougher down in the end zone. Fourth and ten coming up. Ball on the 32. The Cornhuskers bring in the nickel package. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He passes it. And they'll score. Let's see that touchdown pass again. Good job by the quarterback here to find the open man in the end zone.
And he hits the PAT. So we're down at just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Auburn 17, Nebraska 17. is ready to kick it away. Number five and number 30 back ready to return. We should have a return on this one. Number five fields it at the three. Tries to shoot. They'll take over at the 31. 4 3 defense. Number 10, back to pass. Looks. He unloads it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Second and ten, ball on their own 31. Number 10 with three wide receivers. Number 10 steps back to pass. Looking, throws it deep downfield. And it's incomplete. And he just threw that one behind his receiver. Yeah, that was just a poor throw. I'm sure that quarterback would love to have that one back. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 31. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. Number 10 drops to throw. He's looking. Throws it deep downfield. Number 10 for the interception. Loses the football. That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there, and the quarterback needs to make better decisions. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Number 24 lines up as a single back. Let's it fly. Number 87 with a catch. A decent gain on the pass. Yo, Kirk. Good job by the quarterback here reading this play. Yeah, the defense came with a blitz, and you're right. Great job by this young quarterback of recognizing the coverage and spotting the open man. Auburn comes out with an eye formation. Number 16 gives it up the middle. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Nowhere to go on that play, Coach. Boy, you're absolutely right, Brad. This is a great job by the defense in not giving him any room to create anything. The Cornhuskers come out in a 4-3. Rifles it right side. Complete. Number 27 brings him down at the two. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there. And that ball was thrown in the right spot. Looks like they'll try to power it right into the heart of the defense. Number 16 gives it up the middle. Nice time to use the fullback there. I've always liked when teams mix it up and give the fullback the ball in goal line situations. If the big bruiser can't get you a couple of yards, you don't deserve to get in. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, the offense did their part. Now it's time for the defense to take over. And this is a very high-pressure situation for an offense to face. If you don't score a touchdown, you lose. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. 
Three-man front defensively. Number 10 gives it up the middle. Brought down at the 22. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 22. Auburn lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 10, back to throw. He's going to try and scramble. He fires right. Number 81 makes the catch. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. They're lining up in the 5-2. Number 10, talking to the left side. Tackle at the four. He picks up about four yards on the toss play. The Cornhuskers line up with two tight ends. Number four gets the carry. Oh, what a hit. A great defensive effort there. And let me tell you, the key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed their linebackers to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safeties, but credit the big guys up front for that play. The Cornhuskers come out showing three wide. He's rolling right, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. A big play by the defense right there. Well, that's a great individual effort there. He just bull rushed and went right through the line. Rare combination of power and speed by the defense. That'll bring up a fourth and goal. Ball on the 11-yard line. Look for them to go to the air here. He drops back. Let's it go. And it's caught for the touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? It's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that, make the catch. They had some trouble defending that one, though. Hey, this is just a great play by the offense, Brad. Watch that delivery. It doesn't get much better than that. And he hits the PAT. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Auburn comes out in a 4-3. Number 53 with a takedown at the 24-yard line. Maybe a yard on the option play to the fullback. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 24. The Cornhuskers come out in the ace formation. Number 30 on the give. Makes a move. Number 52 brings him down at the 13. That was a nice run. Boy, he did a nice job of keeping his feet moving. Good, solid run. That one's worth another look. It's first and ten. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. The Cornhuskers go with the I formation. Number 10 gives it up the middle. And down he goes at the 12. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard.
Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 12-yard line. Nebraska comes out with two tight ends. Number 10 gives it up the middle. Number 52 with a takedown at the nine. That's a three-yard pickup. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Back to pass. Looks. Fires a bullet over the middle. Off his hands, incomplete. Well, he was looking to the end zone on that one. I'll tell you what, the defense was not about to let him score there. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up. And it sails through the upright. So they'll have to keep him out of the end zone here if they want to stay alive. Yeah, the defense really needs to focus here. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Cornhuskers come out in a 34 defense. A little handoff. They'll throw the flag. Loose football. Holding. Holding. On the offense. On the offense. The penalty is the first down. First down. First down. And that's the end of this overtime thriller. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Let me tell you something. Nebraska, they know how to win football games. Sure. They should have put this one away a long time ago, and it definitely shouldn't have gone to overtime. But they showed a lot of poise when it came to crunch time, and that's something you can't coach. Folks, thanks for tuning into this game. Our final score, Nebraska 27, Auburn 24. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso signing off. Until next time, so long, everybody.